Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about alter statement in SQL, which is useful for you to change the structure of a table. Like we can add the column to the existing table. We can drop the column from the existing table. We can modify the data type of a particular column. All these concepts I have discussed in detail for you. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know about alter statement, I sincerely request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about drop the table. How can we truncate the table? What are the constraints? What is the use of the constraints? And what are the different constraints are there? All these concepts I will discuss in detail for you. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss about truncating the table. If you want to remove the data, however, if you don't want to delete the table, then you can use the truncate statement. The truncate statement is useful for you to delete the data inside a table, but not the table. It is used to delete the data inside the table but not the table if i use the drop table it will delete the table but here i don't want to delete the table i want to just delete the data inside the table in that case we can use the truncate statement now let me discuss the syntax for truncate statement truncate table table name end with semicolon if you provide like this then the data inside the table will be deleted if you want to practically verify it let me open the sql plus then i want to look at what are the tables are there then i can write select star from tab end with semicolon now you can see there is a table called student underscore parnika parnika underscore two now i want to look at what is the data which is available in the Pernika underscore two table. Now you can see we have two attributes called name and ID and also first name. However, the name have the values called Jagadish, Siri, Pernika, Rajesh, Ravi is there. I want to delete this data, but the still the table should be there. In that case, I can use the statement called truncate table table name is parnika underscore two end with semicolon then you can see we got a statement called table truncated if you look at the data which is there in the table called parnika underscore two using the select statement then you cannot find any data okay no row selected but still table is there yes table is there okay that is the use of the truncate statement table will be there but the data inside the table will not be there now we will discuss about the drop table statement or drop statement drop statement in sql which is useful for you to delete the entire table what is the syntax of it drop table table name end with the semicolon whatever the table name you have specified will be deleted okay you can not perform the undo operation also once you have deleted the table or dropped the table you cannot bring it back i want to drop the table called pernika underscore two then what i need to do i need to write drop table table name is parnika underscore two even if the data is there also the entire table will be dropped if you look at the description of the table which is parnika underscore two then you will get an error message stating that object parnika underscore two does not exist the drop statement is useful for you to drop the entire table including its data also now we will discuss about the what is a constraint what is the use of the constraint then we will discuss about different constraints in detail with you constraints are nothing but a rule it is a rule to which the data must conform let's take that rbi has introduced some jobs 
and it says that so the people whose age is between 25 to 35 they can only apply for the job then when you are creating the job application form in online you have to give a constraint for the age what is the constraint any age between 25 to 35 is allowed if anyone entered an age less than 25 or greater than 35 it should not allow suppose if someone entered the age as 36 then it should not permit him okay it should give a warning message to him the age is incorrect similarly some attributes or some columns when you fill in the forms there will be a star mark meaning is that it is compulsory you cannot make it null you should give some information to it so all these are nothing but the rules where the data must conform for constraints constraint name is optional what is that one when i create a constraint it will be clear for you so constraint names are optional when we create a table we will give let me write it create table table name and we will have constraints of two types one is column level and another one is table level now let me discuss about column level you have column one data type then you need to write constraint constraint name then you need to specify the type of constraint now what i am saying constraint names are optional i hope you have got the meaning called what is constraint names are optional and any constraint can be added at column level or at table level that already i have discussed this point while creating the table itself you can add some constraints okay like i will write a create table table name then i will write column one then i will specify the data type then i will write constraint some constraint name constraint name then i will specify type then i will specify the column to data type table level constraints also you can write like constraint then constraint name and the type of the constraint then you can specify for which columns you want to add the constraint like column one column two like that also you can write so here when we have specified the constraint for the column one then this is column level constraint but when you have specified the constraint for the column one and column two this is table level constraint can be enabled a constraint a constraint can be enabled or can be disabled okay we can disable a constraint for a specific amount of time or permanently also we can drop a constraint so any constraint whether it is a column level or table level you can enable it you can disable it you can delete it and even you can add a constraint also now let me discuss about various constraints we have like totally we have five types of constraints let me discuss each one in detail with you we have the not null constraint if you specify any column as not null then you cannot make it empty some value you have to give this should be in lower case a next constraint is unique unique means duplicate values are not allowed suppose let's take that roll number for a student every student should have a unique roll number two students cannot have the same roll number so duplicate values are not allowed okay is it clear so that is about the unique constraint then we have the primary key constraint any attribute if you make it as a primary key then for that column null values are not allowed and similarly duplicate values are also not allowed if you specify a primary key then using that column we can extract or retrieve the any tuple uniquely suppose let's take that in a college there is a uh, CSC department in CSC department second year CSC students are there now if you go to the class every student will have the unique roll number using the roll number you can uniquely identify one student if you call one roll number multiple students will not respond so I can say roll number is a 
primary key for the table called student now roll number cannot be empty every student should have a roll number and no students will have the same roll number meaning is that it is unique and the fourth one is check you can add some constraints like salary no employee should get a negative salary am i right similarly marks students will get zero marks or more than zero but students will never get negative marks unless until you are writing some competitive exams where negative marking is also there okay so check constraints even i have discussed an example when you are filling some application if there is an age is constraint means people cannot apply for the job whose age is less than 25 or greater than 35 then you can use this check constraint to keep such rules similarly you have the foreign key which is a referential integrity constraint so we have not null it can be applied at column level only at table level you cannot add a constraint called not null if you want to create a table with a constraint called not null then how you can do is that you can create table table name column then data type of the column and then you can specify constraint constraint name and then type of the constraint then you can write column to data type i'll create one sample table called student okay so create table student student will have the id and its data type is number of size 10 then i am providing a constraint called not null so i will write constraint constraint name as not null underscore constraint or underscore c this is the name of the constraint and the type of constraint is not null so you will specify not null then name data type is varchar2 size 20 like that you can end with a semicolon so now you have created a table called student having two attributes called id and name and the id attribute does not allow you to enter the null values if you want to practically verify this one let me go to the sql and create one table parnika underscore two only because already we have deleted it if we have already deleted it we can verify with the same name can we create a new table also okay so what is the syntax create table table name then you have to specify the column name and then data type is number of 20 size then I will write constraint constraint name is not null underscore C and the type of the constraint is not null then I will write name and then it is varchar2 of size 20. Now you will have a doubt sir. In a table only one column can be not null. You can have multiple columns having the constraint called not null. Not null. Okay name varchar2 constraint. Constraint name this time I will write not null underscore c1. And the name of the constraint is not null or the type of the constraint is not null let me end with semicolon now table has been successfully created if you look at the description of the table called pernica underscore two now you can see the description we have the two attributes called id and name and the type of the constraint you can see not null and not null for both the attributes and the type of the attributes are one is the data type is number and then varchar two now when we are inserting data will it allow the null values or not we can verify how can we insert the data into the table using the insert statement insert into table i want to insert value only to the column called id then what i have to provide i have to provide the the column which is id and then i need to write values and then i need to provide the number one okay if you are adding value only to the id then for the name what it is null but what you have kept a constraint name cannot null so if you are doing this one now you can see invalid table name oh we have written wrongly insert into table 
name what is the table name it is not insert into table insert into table name what is the table name pernika underscore two so i want to add value to the column called id so i will write id values one you can see one thing cannot insert null into scott pernika underscore two name in pernika underscore two table name attribute does not allow you to insert null values similarly if i want to insert only name then id is also not null that is also not allowed insert into pernika underscore two okay then i will write name values okay now name i want to provide as siri if i am providing name only then id is a null value then it is also not allowed cannot insert null into pernika underscore two id so in pernika underscore two table id attribute does not allow you to insert null values if you insert both the values then what will happen look at here insert into which table pernika underscore two for all the columns if you want to add some data then you can simply write values okay id is one name i will provide as siri then here null value is not there then one row has been created if you want to look at the data then you can write select star from table name is what pernika underscore two end with semicolon two attributes are there so the degree is two only one tuple is there so the cardinality is one so like this we can add constraints at the column level which is a not null constraint remaining one we will discuss in the next video like how can we add the constraints like unique check not null all these things we will discuss in the next video if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day